In today's video I'm going to show you how to create this day night button animation right inside Canva. If you haven't came across my videos before, my name is Jules and I am your designer in your pocket where I share lots of Canva tips and design tricks. And the features I'm showing you will have Canva Pro features in them, but don't worry if you don't have it yet, as a Canva verified expert, I can give you an access to 45 day free trial instead of the usual 30. So let's get into the tutorial. So I've begun by opening up just a blank video template and you'll see I've already imported the animation we're going to make and I just want to quickly show you just now so I'm just going to play it for you. And you can see it is just super short but super sweet and cute and there's lots of options you can use it for so I'm going to break it down and show you how I created this video. Um, template size 1080 by 1920 and this is so we can use it across different social platforms and in various different formats and we have the, the video timeline here as well so first of all what I'm going to do is just add some colour and I've used a really nice gradient so we just go up to our colour bar and scroll down to the bottom and I'm just going to select this one here but I'm going to change the direction of the template so we can do that by going into our plus button and change it around here and you can also swap these colours across so that we have the blue at the top and uh, the green at the bottom and what I'm going to start doing is building up all the elements that I had before and so show you how I searched for them and first of all, I added in the clouds. So I'm going to type 3D clouds. Originally, when I designed this template, I designed it on the mobile app, but I'm going to show you how to do it from the desktop, but you can create this animation in, in both. So I'm just going to click a cloud here and adjust it on the page like so and choose another one, which will make a bit smaller just have sitting in the back here and then I had the sun so 3d sun and just so we can keep all the elements in the same style I'm just going to go with this one here this one's nice and I'm going to place it on top but I'm going to click select the three buttons and then I want to send it backwards so that it sits behind the cloud and that's so I can make it disappear in, in the transition and at the same time I'm going to find the moon at the moment because we do have to place the moon in this template too even though it will be hidden so that we can have the transition with the two of them swapping each other over and I'm going to scroll down and see if I can find the same moon that I created last time here it's here going to just switch this around a little and then I'm going to hide it in the cloud just now so I'm going to go to position and my layers and then just drag it so it sits underneath the clouds and it's nice and hidden for the moment then we want to add our button so I'm going to go out of here and just into our shapes panel and click on see all and then when we scroll down, we can choose this one that looks like a kind of um, pill shape. Make that a bit bigger. And make sure it's centered on the page. And again, I'm going to add a little gradient into this one. And I think it was just this one I used, which if you scroll down, it was this color down here which is one of the ones Canva's already set for us but again you can edit these colours to any ones you wish and I'm going to give it a border just so I can change the colour of the border when it transitions to night time and change it from black to blue inside the button we again we have to have the icons for daytime and nighttime so I'm going to type sun icon just like this one that's fine and you want to place it over the kind of left hand side of the button design and I'm going to make it white and we will find the 
min icon that one will do this one's really big so I'm just going to shrink that right down I'm going to flip it so it's facing the other direction so we have our sun and we have our moon icons now I want to find a nice button um, for inside the switch so I think I just typed round button I'm just trying to remember <laughs> I created this last night um, yep it was this one here because I can also edit the colours of this button which I liked so that we can have a nice transition between the day and night because you really want to pick something that you can really see the difference in colour when you transition. Just nice to take a wee cuppa while I'm doing this, while it's hot. And at the moment the colour is fine. I'm not that keen on the black outline, so I think I'll change that to white. And then lastly we need to add some text. So just going to add Make sure it's centered and we've got good morning. Oops, can't spell. Again, I'm going to change it to one of my stepped fonts, which is a hundred and font called September Spirit, and make it a little larger. And I want to add a little bit of animation to um, the text as it comes in. So I'm going to just change it to a nice blue and then click animate. And I, I really like the typewriter effect. I use that one quite a lot. Um, but what I wanted to do is just come in on enter. So that once it's there, it stays, it doesn't um, go away. And then what we want to do is we want to duplicate this page. So once we duplicate the page, we can then start transitioning all of the elements to nighttime. First thing we going to do is change the gradient background colour. And I'm going to change it to this nice one because it's got a really nice um, dark blue in it. But again, I want to switch that around. So the direction is going dark down to light at the bottom and I'm going to change the text to good night I'm ready to make that readable so we'll change the text to white I'm going to change the button first so again we want to change the color that we have in here so I'm just going to double check what color I had before I did so I had the same gradient but I switched the direction to left to right rather than top to bottom and I'm going to change the border colour to that brighter blue so it stands out more and then I'm going to move the button across to the other side so it covers up the sun and I'm also going to change the colour of the button as well and I'm going to make it this nice purple colour like so like that and now what we want to do is we're going to move the sun so that it disappears underneath the cloud and this time if we go to our positions and we select our moon and now that it's selected I can oops, drag it so that it rises above the cloud and I'm missing some stars I want to add some stars just to make it like a beautiful starry night so let's just type in the search and elements for stars and this time I'm going to use the wee toggle and click on animated so that it only gives me animated stars and I'm going to go into graphics and I'm sure I selected this one because the stars are nice and tiny and small so I wanted to look like it was in the night sky 
and I'm going to have this sitting in the top part of the page and again I'm going to sit it underneath the clouds so that we only see it glittering behind the clouds. Now what we need to do is add a transition. So if we go over down between the two pages and we can click on add a transition and I'm going to go with match and move but I want to increase the duration so that it's a bit of a slower transition because at the moment it's, it's happening really quick. So if we change it up to two, but what will happen is if I start to play it, it's very slow, but if we reduce the timings of each page, it does reduce also the timings of the, the transition. So if I play it again, you'll see now it's a bit faster and we can go in and edit this if we want and take it back down to one second or you can change that to however slow or fast you want the transition to happen. And while we're playing this, what we don't want is the good night is coming in a little fast so I just want to change the timing of good night to start to come in just a couple of seconds after the transition starts so if we go to show timing and I'm just going to nudge this along 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a second now when we play it it transitions over and we've got that bit of a gap on it as well so that very simply is how we create the switch animation from day to night inside Canva and with the second one that I just created a few there you can see the transition happening again. If you found this video useful then do make sure to like, comment and I would love you to subscribe. I am growing my channel and please keep watching for the next video if you would love to see more Canva tips and tricks because I'm your designer in your pocket helping you create kick-ass graphics even if you're not a pro.